Beatles and Beloveds. Oh God, this is so corny. I can't believe I'm doing this. Wait. Do you know what this is from? Okay, you know my little heart, right? Um, this is copyright music, as is this video. My copyright, my board's copyright. I mean, don't mess with it. <laughs> That's a heartbeat. Um, sound engineering and my husband's beautiful composition. He scores music, Emmy nominated composer. Uh, it also means don't touch his stuff. You need to pay us royalties if you're going to use our music. And if you are a school or a nonprofit, we actually offer discounts. So, you know, be cool. That shouldn't even have to be said. But unfortunately, I have to say that. As you know, there's been this uh, intellectual property theft that we've been going through. And, uh, yeah, heads are going to roll, not ours. So, all right. I got that out of my system and out of the way. Merry Christmas. Hey, uh, happy Hanukkah, all this great festivity in the air, and uh, happy Kwanzaa. I know a lot of people celebrate a lot of different holidays. There's so many during this time of the year. I, I love them all. No matter what my faith is or isn't at the time. So I'm gonna say Merry Christmas right now because I think, <clears throat> is that the one that's upon us sooner? Or is it Hanukkah? I should know. I should. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me get a few things out of the way. <clears throat> By the way, today we're going to be talking about, about touchstones and what a touchstone is and what it means to me and maybe this will inspire you. Um, so just as a reminder, look, guys, look at it. I'm so happy. My book one of many um there these oh wait which one's this okay well there's like seven nine in the series and i have three of the same one okay <laughs> i have them all but not on hand okay with my assistant <laughs> all right beautifuls and beloveds anyway so yeah red ribbons isn't this cool cool beans what this is is uh this is me drawing me <laughs> noel rose it's not just a character it's a product it's it's me it's my name it's it's a whole bunch of stuff and i, I just happen to be really good at marketing and creating myth about my persona but it's not myth it's actually reality <laughs> Who knew? Um, th this is my life story, segments of it, uh, told in a children's fable, analogously. You know what that means? That means that everything you find in here really is based in, in reality. Like, I could show you a document and say, this is this, and this inspired me to write about it in this way in this book, or this is an actual incident that happened in my life, and I, I told this amazing, amazing fairy tale, and I, I'm very proud of myself, actually. Um, I've been working on this since I was uh, little, like really little. And I found a whole bunch of my older journals. I journal everything, guys. Oh, gosh. When it was raining outside and my mom wouldn't let me go outside to dance, what I would do is write. So I, I, I was a dancer first. Language came to me later than movement, as does for most people. It's normal. <laughs> we are moving beings first before we learn how to communicate via language. So I've been a dancer. That was just me. God wanted me to do that. I'm like, yeah, we're down. Let's do it. And my grandmother, thanks to her, she also had a lot to do with it too. So um, I want to show you guys something. Hold on here. Something pretty amazing. Uh, okay. So these books, right? I don't want anyone to see the words. It's a surprise what's in here, right? But um, can you see that? Let me get the light just right here something like that. Um, I drew pictures, as did my co-author. Surprise, surprise. It, this is basically written by me, but there's co-authorship involved with this project. Um, 
and we drew pictures. Most of them are my dance pictures that I drew. And the kids can, uh, I'm trying to find another one. There's one before every chapter. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this is great. Look at. So, um, I think my only criticism is that I would like the lines a little darker, possibly a little thicker, but, um, you know, you never know until you go to print what these things are going to look like. Uh oh, the light's shifting. Hold on, guys. Um, so, we did it this way, so children can actually uh, add to the picture and be inspired by the words in that chapter and color. It's amazing. So that is Red Ribbons, the book series. Red Ribbons is also um, part of my dance epic saga that I've been putting together for over a decade. Actually, a very long time. If you want to count when I was in high school, I was even working on some of it. Um, we found footage of that. Oh my gosh. It, you know how you look back and you're like, mm, I did that? You know, as you're growing. But it really isn't. That laughable. It, I was pretty good even as a teenager. Anyway, so the books, we wrote different uh, versions. So that one I just showed you is an abridged version. The unabridged version is for a much older audience and it, it goes more in depth. And there, there are more things drawn, but they're more detailed and it's not really for coloring. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You're, full-grown adult free world right but it wasn't intended as a coloring book we just love drawing in the vein of like Lord of the Rings or something like that you add we added uh, drawings like very intense beautiful dramatic drawings um, I love the ones of the dance of course that I did they're they're just so into the expression of what we're trying to say in that chapter. Anyhow, so we have the Red Ribbons book series, and uh, as you know, the dances, but you're gonna see ugh, a similarity here. I need to get a higher table. Um, with permission, we did this, of course. Um, that, look at, spaced on it very loosely. Oops, the light is blaring. Hold on, guys. Anybody knows about lighting? Here we go. A little bit better. Right? The calendar. Thank you, Miss Lois. We're friends. She's amazing. Um, I was on the cover <laughs> of a very prestigious, what, the Weingarten uh, printed, published dance calendar by Lois Greenfield. That's like her thing. And it, as you can see, it's huge. When my staff got word that I was going to be on her calendar, because we do a calendar too, and you know, it's yo big, right? So I was like, okay, cool. I know where we can put it in the office and it'll look really, really nice. And then <laughs> it's like, I had no idea of the actual size. I knew of this brand. I knew of the artistry and the prestige of it all, but I never really absorbed the size. And I, I was overwhelmed when I saw it. I was like, okay, yeah. we need an extra shot of tequila for this one. <laughs> it was very overwhelming for me and it was quite an accomplishment and an achievement. I'm proud of it not prideful, proud. There's a difference, right? Um, I'm very proud. I worked hard and I know you'll know exactly what I mean. You know, uh, I'm very grateful. I, mean, I can't even. And she put me on the top of the year for January and I'm like, okay, this is, this is beautiful. Thank you. Um, which was also very comforting because as you know, my, my company suffered, uh, and family, suffered through two catastrophic accidents and serious injuries were sustained, especially in the first one. And uh, yeah, they were like within three and a half weeks of each other. Really nuts. Uh, I won't say too much more about that. I would like to. <laughs> Don't get me wrong on that. Oh boy, would I like to. But uh, you know, spinal cord injury, guys. Oh, I'm doing better, yeah. You know, it's documented legally and all of this, uh, but it's it's a hard climb. 
it's a hard climb. What I am finding out though is that uh, if all goes according to plan, so far so good, I am going to even be a much stronger and better dancer because of the rehabilitation. Who knew? Not that I'm going to thank the person <laughs> responsible for the accident. Uh, no, no, no. We've gone through such a horrible hardship because of it. And, you know, when you're faced that... Uh, let's put it this way. I was lucky that my neck didn't break and protrude through my trachea. And it's pretty severe, guys. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. So, uh, yes. This is a very triumphal thing. Very comforting. You know, knowing that you went through so much hardship and something beautiful like that you could say, no, it's better. It's getting better. Yeah. Dance Warrior, they don't call me that for nothing. Let me tell you something. You have no idea what I've been fighting behind the scenes. <laughs> and it's not just recovering from an accident. All at the same time, mind you. Uh, most people would have broken, you know, mentally and probably physically and probably emotionally by now. Don't think, I don't know that you're not gonna be impressed. Did I say that right with the right tenses? I think I did. Okay, calendar, collector's item. We have a few actually, as do my board members, you know. We're not really gonna part with a lot of them. We have some for sale, but they are going up in value just because. And once something breaks, I won't say how and where. I'm not talking about broken bones or a broken body or broken anything and the negative, but you know, when something comes forth, the value of that is going to triple like overnight. Just saying. So if you want to get one, get one now while well, they're relatively cheap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so here, beloveds and beautifuls, on the back, I have to point this out. I'm going to get to the touchstone stuff in a minute. Look at. Uh, this is also a trademark. This, this right here. And it doesn't mean that somebody can't do it, but they can't do it exactly like I did it. And they can't use it for what we are using it for long. Um, but it, this is also a trademark symbol, a very triumphant one. I, I look how high up on my arch. The point is perfect in the perfect place. Yeah, I've seen some people, and they've sent in their photos, really cute, we should post them. It's so sweet, because I had a call at one time, do this pose, not exactly like me, because of the law, trademark, and all that, but, um, you know, give us your best version of this. And so I had some people, oh my gosh, they're totally arched over, and valid and beautiful, it's another take on the same thing, right? But, uh... Th this was not meant to be a modern dance pose, you know, if I wanted to let loose and, you know, arch my back and do all that stuff, you know, in that friendly, competitive way. Dancers can be beautiful creations and creatures. Sometimes they get a little weird, like, oh, I can do that better than you. It's like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> it ruins it when people start doing that. I'm like, no, 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 just do your best for you. Compete with you, not with other people. Really, it turns a lot of people off, and I'm like, oh, okay, we'll s still love you, but whatever. Um, okay, uh, different trademarks, logos, what am I doing here? Okay, this is the main point that I wanted to bring about. So, um, because you know I have a Jewish heritage, because of my family being Jewish, we also have a Catholic. Talk about confusion, right? <laughs> it worked out, don't worry. Um, this... Can you kind of see, let me see, I'll hold this up to you. Can you see, I'm trying to keep the glare off, but that is essentially what started as a Hanukkah bush. And my, my stepfather, who was the one who was Jewish, who interjected that into our family, and we merged the two faiths, really beautiful actually. Um, he's like, well, you can do a Hanukkah bush. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know anything about the Jewish faith. What? And I was a little kid. And what it is, is just um, kind of like a version of a Christmas tree, except you kind of hang dreidels and different things on it. Um, so I wanted that to mean something more to me, because I was still unfamiliar with the faith. And I started hanging my family's old photos. Okay. 
And then as I got more comfortable with what had happened to me, you know, the Red Ribbon story, I started connecting everything together. I know, yeah, red bows, red bows for Christmas. I get that. But I had to turn that symbol into something meaningful and beautiful to me, which is why we have a triumphal story, you know, what Lois did with me. It's just amazing. And every year for Christmas, I, it's much smaller than it used to be. It used to be about half this size, my Hanukkah bush. And um, so here, it, that was something my stepdad made for me. I, as far as uh, adjusting to the faith and incorporating it into Christmas time without messing up his faith, you know? It's just something we did as kids. And I, I changed that whole thing and I turned it into a meaning for me. So now I hang uh, and I talk about it, incorporate it in this book too. See, a real life story infused into a children's supposed fictional book. Um, and you know, the little red ribbons. I actually have this thing right here. Hold on, you're gonna see my rear end. <laughs> Let's show you this. See, look at this beauty. This is my little, and it's photographed and it's on, on the back cover. And this is my, uh, my, my side of my family. I know my son and husband have their side. We have a couple from his side of the family. I need to get more from them. But this is all the beauty and love that was in my family. Oh, there was a lot of passionate fighting too. Don't get me wrong. Are you kidding? Italians? Frenchmen? Yeah, it was very interesting. See? Look at this. I love this. Look at that. My great-grandmother. What a hottie. Everybody in my family is gorgeous. <sighs> okay, they're related. I can't, you know? <laughs> but they're beautiful, you know what I mean? I'm just overwhelmed by their beauty. Look at this. Mom and Dad. All these beautiful people. Oh, look here. You can really see my little bl 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 blonde streaks. I think it's really blaring right now, my blonde, because the light reflects light, you know? And blonde is light. And uh, y you can see them in my little pictures. My mom, I was called a skunk. It didn't really bother me too much, maybe a little bit as a kid. Now it's just a cute little nickname that I have, and I actually like it. A lot of people don't know that. But yeah, I was <laughs> teased a little bit, so my mom learned how to brush my hair, and that's why my bangs were so thick, because she could brush what was further back over. Yeah. And then it wasn't in style for the longest time, thick bangs, and I'm like, uh. So I actually started using henna to cover it up and then uh, my mom would not let me dye my hair obviously. Isn't that cool? So yeah, my aunt was another one who had the red-ish hair. Hers was a little bit more softer and here is a beautiful photo. I love these too. My aunt and uncle. Now, I have to say, except for my siblings, everybody on this tree has passed on. We've lost four people in our family in 10 months. Hmm. But more on that later. Uh, <laughs> telling you, you have no idea what we've been through on this end. So, uh, oh, and one more thing. This is a neat little thing here. These, these red bows, uh, they were from my original Hanukkah bush. We found pictures. I'm like, oh, those are the bows, I knew it. And then we found, obviously, where the bows were on the Hanukkah bush, so we have pictures of all that. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? From a red ribbon and the cross. My little ballet shoes from a red ribbon. Perfect. So, you know, you guys can make one of these too. And we talk about how to do it in other videos. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, I love doing this kind of 
arts and crafts type stuff. So, you know, we talk about it. I say we because it is co-authored, um, but it's mostly me. It's like about 79, 78% me and then the rest uh, by my co-author. But he's like, you know what? Just put your name on the book because you are the marketable one. They don't know me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'd explain this whole thing and it's worked into the story very similar to how it was introduced to me. So, you know, good example. And excuse me. I've shown this before. I love her. It's Noelle Rose. Look at it. Isn't she cute? We love her. So, uh, she's on sale and back ordered right now. It's very expensive to make these, so it's very expensive to buy them. We don't really make any money off of this stuff. We, anything is just, you know, we just put it towards a dance company. I, you know, I take care of myself other ways, don't worry about it. <laughs> but look, like me, how she dances with her red ribbons and her pigtails. And, um, this is modeled after, it's a combination of the costumes I made uh, for the gals dancing as the, they can represent the broken psyche or they can represent other little girls who have suffered something like I had being molested as a child, right? But usually it's just one solid white piece. Um, and this, the lacy part, we modeled after the gown, it's a designer gown. Yeah, very expensive. It was on loan to us for the photo shoot, and we were given that. We were given that to uh, do the, the photo shoot. So I wanted to incorporate elements, and I sat down with my, my board, my designers, and I designed this. This is all me sewing by hand. No machine, <laughs> just by hand. And um, yeah, so this is the original, and we have them made. Does that make sense? And I am very critical. It's like, wait, the bow's too short. You have to fix that. Go back. And they're like, oh, it's going to cost a lot of money. It's like, okay, I'll do it right now myself. I'm that particular. So each one is just a little different because it's, you know, kind of handmade. It's got a little clasp in the back. You know how hard these are to do by hand? It takes time. And the little bow in back. So, um, and, and we found, um, nicer little ballet shoes or these are antiquated and old but anyway so kind of close ish this hair color has a little bit more of a, a brown base to it but we're happy with it hey. <laughs> but okay in all seriousness what the subject matter is as you know the red ribbon story came about because I was molested as a child, right? And it's on our website, go and read it. I don't have to regurgitate it for you. It's pretty well known at this point. Uh, thank you Associated Press for 